Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Plunder Countless Talents, I Became a God. Chapter 31 Although Taurus King Minotaur has fallen at this time, it is still the same as in memory. Lin Luo did not receive the prompt to clear this level. Because only by killing all the surrounding Bull Demon King monsters on the ten floors below can you complete the level. Ho, roar, roar, moo, moo, moo. Continuous roars sounded from the entrance to the 30th floor of the Babel Tower and Torin warriors were coming angrily. Several Crescent Bull Demon King and Lance Bull Demon King from the 29th floor bore the brunt of sending bullheads, and Black Emperor came up with a few punches per person. Lin Luo sat on the ground, admiring the Black Emperor guarding the entrance to the 30th floor of the Babel Tower frantically slaughtering various Torin monsters. It is simply that one man is in charge and no one can open it. However, as the number of Torin warriors increased, Black Emperor also found it difficult to cope with it. At this time, Lin Luo stood up and shouted, My warriors obey my orders. Kill the stubborn ones around you. Be a traitor. At this time, there was no need for him to talk nonsense. The Lord of Prayer wisely activated the Book of Wishes and sang softly, I say, my great and wise master can activate this skill with full health. King's Order 30% Activate. When the health value drops to a certain level, directly summon 30% of the surviving Torin warriors in the first 10 floors of the maze to come over for support. The next moment, 30% of the Torin warriors who besieged Black Emperor turned against them. With the help of this group of Torin warriors, Black Emperor finally felt a little more relaxed, and Lin Luo didn't have to worry about something slipping through the net that he had to solve by himself and the prompts for gaining experience began to ring in his ears. His experience bar has also increased crazily due to the experience bonus of killing monsters by leapfrogging and the double experience bonus of wish. 100 battles. You killed the 28th level Crescent Bull Demon King and gained 840,000 experience points. The higher the 11th level, the more you gain 1200% experience points by killing monsters. Wish. 100 battles effect kill monsters and gain 200% experience points. Currently level 17, experience value, 1,361,053,276,800. You killed the level 29 Crescent Bull Demon King and gained 1,300,000 experience points. You gain 1,300% experience points by killing monsters at level 12. Wish, 100 battles, effect, Gain 200% experience points by killing monsters. Currently level 17. Experience value. 2,661,053,276,800. You killed the level 29 Crescent Bull Demon King. Congratulations player. You have reached level 18. Lin Luo couldn't help laughing. Sure enough, I still have to kill monsters to level up quickly. 3 Crescent Bull Demon King can make me level up. It's so cool. Congratulations player, you have reached level 19. Congratulations player, you have reached level 20. Congratulations player, you have reached level 21. Congratulations player, you have reached level 22. My warriors, your mission has been completed. Now I order you to go to heaven. That is the place where the greatest Torin warriors can go. Come on, line up in front of the Black Emperor one by one. After all the Torin who did not obey Lin Luo's king's order were killed, those Torin warriors who were affected by his skills began to line up obediently with sacred faces and let the Black Emperor send them on their way. After about 10 minutes, everything finally settled. The long-awaited notification tone finally sounded in Lin Luo's ears. You have cleared the 30th floor of Babel Tower. Time taken to clear customs. 16 minutes and 29 seconds. Rewards for first time clearing. Fragments of Destiny Close Black Lens Bracket Currently obtained Fragments of Destiny X 3175 Global Announcement Congratulations to the player Black Emperor for becoming the first player in the world to clear the 30th floor of the Tower of Babel alone. Reward a lucky draw ticket for 10 consecutive rounds of the Wheel of Fortune. In a novice copy in Hangzhou the level 8 level boss Mushroom King, a seismic wave directly knocked four melee players away. Damn it, this Mushroom King can't even withstand my block. Fortunately, the hit only caused a loss of blood, so the pain was not bad. 
Several players were about to get up from the ground when they saw their mage, Big Big Wolf, suddenly pass them and walked straight towards the oncoming Mushroom King. They were all shocked. Hey, you're crazy. You might die if you get hit. Why are you, a mage, going ahead? Big Big Wolf smiled sternly, that's enough. You guys are too slow, I will deal with him alone next. Several of his teammates were stunned when they heard this. This mage was a wealthy boss and hired the four of them to help fight damage. But now this boss is so crazy that he actually wants to challenge Mushroom King at close quarters by himself. If he is beaten to death, I wonder if he will refuse to pay them. The huge Mushroom King didn't care what they were thinking and jumped directly towards Big Big Wolf. Big Big Wolf was calm in the face of danger, suddenly raised his hand and shouted, Come out! Emperor's eyes, King's domain. A huge golden eye instantly appeared behind him, and then a pale golden field spread out in all directions instantly. Kneel down, Mushroom King's huge body that had just jumped up fell down again at this moment, and then his whole body fell directly to the ground, unable to get up no matter how hard he struggled. But just as Big Big Wolf's four teammates were about to stand up, they were pushed back to the ground again by an inexplicable force. They watched helplessly as Big Big Wolf continued to release spells to attack Mushroom King. And Mushroom King actually showed no resistance at all under the gaze of that huge golden eye. It's like the king wants his minister to die, but he has no choice but to die. This, is this the substitute produced by talents above S level? Holy crap, if you're so awesome, why would you hire us? Isn't this too overbearing? I can't stand up at all. Mushroom King soon died under Big Big Wolf's spell craze. Big Big Wolf also recalled the substitute Emperor's Eye at the same time. He turned to the embarrassed four people and snorted, Get up quickly. If it weren't for saving the energy of the substitute, I could clear this dungeon alone. Dot. When Big Big Wolf came out of the dungeon with four tired players, a young and handsome boy was walking towards him with a smile on his face. As he approached him, he whispered in a voice that only the two of them could hear, Road. Kitaru, I've heard about the SS level talent, Emperor's Eyes, for a long time. Big Big Wolf's expression suddenly changed. This strange boy actually called out his name directly, and also directly stated the specific level and name of his talent. Since his awakening, he has never mentioned it to anyone. He immediately asked on guard, Who are you? What is your talent? Reading memories, or reading minds? The handsome young man motioned for Keitero to walk to a deserted corner, and then said with a smile, You were born into the third largest family in Hangzhou. It's a pity that you are not a legitimate son, but an illegitimate son. In order to protect you, your mother sent you out of the country since junior high school. However, you have been working hard to accumulate strength without giving up, and finally returned to China a month ago. Originally, you were planning to continue dormant, but this time the National Awakening made your ambitions expand. I have already had the idea of seizing the position of the head of the family by force. Every time this young man said something, Big Big Wolf's face became uglier. The Emperor's eye has appeared behind him, with huge golden eyes looking at this strange boy coldly. Who are you? Are you sent here by my brother? The handsome young man waved his hand innocently, don't be nervous, I'm here to help you. Big Big Wolf sneered, help me. Kneel down, tell me everything you know. Otherwise you will die here today. King's Domain. This young man knew too much. If his brother knew about it and was prepared in advance, it would not be that simple for him to take action again. As for the substitute killing, what does it have to do with him? He has lived in the intrigues of the big family since he was a child. If anyone blocks his way forward, he will be killed. With the activation of King's Domain, a circle of faint golden light instantly surrounded the young man with an innocent smile in front of him. But the next moment, Big Big Wolf's confident expression changed. After this young man was trapped in the King's Realm, he didn't react at all, and he still smiled calmly. And the energy of his substitute, Emperor's Eye, is constantly decreasing. He couldn't help but lost his voice, impossible. I, Emperor's Eye, can suppress all life in the field. Why doesn't it work on you? Don't be so angry. Take your king's domain. Let me formally introduce myself. My name is Yu Taiji. I come from the future three years later. As for why your Emperor's Eyes have no effect on me. 
Halfway through the sentence, a mysterious smile appeared on the face of the handsome young man. That's because, I stand outside of time. It's time for the exciting 10 draw session again. Lord of Prayer, hurry. Lin Luo rubbed his hands excitedly and summoned the substitute Lord of Prayer. The Lord of Prayer said nothing as soon as he appeared, and started flipping through the Book of Wishes and his wish was soon fulfilled. Fate Wheel, bring me something good. Lin Luo watched excitedly as the ten pointers of the Fate Wheel slowly stopped, and then ten rays of light rushed out. He noticed at a glance that there were two purple rays of light among them, which represented two S-level props. S-level life extension pill purple. Grade A super crystal blue. Grade F bond crystal white. Grade C frenzy crystal green. Grade C magic crystal power blue. Grade F life extension pill white. S-level life extension pill purple. Level F magic crystal agility white. Grade C magic crystal defense green. Grade A super crystal blue. When Lin Luo saw the first S-level prop, it was obviously not a diamond-shaped crystal, and he felt something was wrong. After taking a closer look, his suspicion came true, and he couldn't help but said angrily, Be you, Sao Sao, it's actually an S-level life extension pill. What's the use of this thing when I'm young? I can only sell it for money, and the money is of no use. Alas, luckily there is a second S-level item. His eyes moved over quickly, but his face turned dark with anticipation and excitement. He couldn't help but cursed. Lord of Prayers, how did you make your wish come true? Why is it life extension pill again? It's really outrageous, mom. Open the door, it's outrageous. The Lord of Wishes was also a little confused. He didn't understand why he was scolded inexplicably. He said with an innocent face, Dear Master, why don't you try adding an S-level or higher item to your next wish? Isn't it life extension pill? Lin Luo took a deep breath, and was a little stunned. Finally, his face fell and he said, You are right. I will listen to you next time. Let's see what good things are left. He looked at the remaining two blue quality crystals. Finally, they were no longer life extension pills which made him sigh in relief. When Lin Luo saw the names of the two A-grade crystals, he was a little surprised, it's actually two more of the same crystals, and they are rare super crystals that are not available in the Destiny Store. Quote, A-level super crystals can directly restore 30 points of the avatar's energy. Two crystals can restore 60 points of energy at once. Although it cannot improve the avatar's ability, it is very useful in critical situations. Now his two substitutes, Black Emperor, have one point of energy left, and Lord of Prayer has 113 points of energy left. Lin Luo pondered for a moment and decided to put it aside for now, because he would continue to draw ten times in a row later, and he would also need Lord of Prayer to locate the target tomorrow. If something unexpected happened, 113 energy points might not be enough. Apart from these four high-quality props, there are no other good things. Three magic crystals that can improve the attributes of the avatar, and a junk F-level bond crystal which were given directly to Black Emperor. Stand in, Black Emperor. Level, S level, experience value, 10 one hundredths. Strength, 209, up pointing arrow 4. Agility, 201, up pointing arrow 1. Intelligence, 1. Defense, 63, up pointing arrow 4. Action distance, 14 meters, up pointing arrow 1. Other attribute capabilities, please click for details. Before leaving Babel Tower, use Destiny Fragments to exchange for 3 SSS level, Space Crystals and 1 SSS Real Crystal. Lin Luo opened the Destiny Store and exchanged 4 brilliant diamond-shaped crystals. Congratulations to the player for successfully redeeming, remaining, Fragments of Destiny X 375. After using SSS Reality Crystal, the attribute power he can bring back to reality has reached 58%. As for why you don't just exchange two of them, it's because you can still get real crystal in the next lottery, which cannot be traded and can only be exchanged for fate shard which is really a waste. And 58% of the strength is completely sufficient in the current peaceful real world, but it is just to prevent emergencies. After doing all this, Lin Luo's figure quickly disappeared into the Babel Tower. It's time to complete the second turn. Outside the Babel Tower, on the edge of Yintai is still bustling with people and a sea of people. Traffic here has been completely paralyzed. 
In addition to the large number of people outside Babel Tower who are begging to form a team, there are also many people sitting on the roadside, looking tired and bragging about how brave and fearless they are in Babel Tower. Do you know about the kobold mage on the third floor of Babel Tower? He threw a small fireball at me. I just slid a shovel, dodged, jumped up and took off his head with a knife. Don't tell me, brother, your height is almost the same as that short kobold mage. Hey, this secret realm is really well done. The only bad thing is that it hurts too much when being hurt by a monster. What kind of unscrupulous guy came up with the design of 100% pain? Tired, really tired. After clearing two floors of Babel Tower in a row, I couldn't stand it anymore. It's better to be a mage or a priest. Just hide behind, move the staff, and recite the incantation. Information currently available to the public. Yu Tai Ji. Alignment. Unknown. Talent level. SSS level. Stand in. Lord of Time. Stand in attributes. Ability. 1. Travel the soul back to a certain point in time in the past. 2. Strip your own existence outside of the current time and become immune to any attacks at this moment. What a hair. The warriors and shield guards fell down from exhaustion after brushing Babel Tower a few times. Now there are fewer melee players and more long-range players. You see, there are already a surplus of mages over there who want to form a team. Only the kind of well-equipped mages have melee professions willing to form them. Priests are only popular with girls. After all, forming a priest means that there is one less output. Priests can only restore blood but not physical strength. Now everyone has the strength to continue grinding, but they don't have the physical strength to continue grinding. Physical strength is important. Nowadays, low-level recovery potions cost several thousand yuan a bottle. Only assassin has basic professional skills that can save physical strength. However, this profession cannot be in the front row, and the burst is not as high as that of mage, not to mention who would waste skill points to add swift. At this time, Lin Luo happened to pass by them. Hearing this, the corner of his mouth curled up, hiding his merit and fame. I remember the location of the secret realm, Assassin's League, in Hangzhou. It should be at the entrance of Raffle City. While Lin Luo recalled the specific location of the second turn secret realm, he took a taxi and rushed directly to the destination. Raffle City is really unlucky because a huge silver cube blocks its main entrance. Moreover, this secret realm is not suitable for low-level players, so not many people gather here at all. After Lin Luo arrived, he rushed in directly. There was a sudden change of light and shadow in front of my eyes. What you see upon entering is a European-style room, with wood burning in the fireplace on the left. The brass gramophone on the right plays soothing chord music. An elegant middle-aged man was sitting on the brown sofa, holding a cup of tea and drinking it slowly. Lin Luo's eyes quickly locked on him, and a line of information immediately appeared in front of him. Open black lens bracket Desmond Miles close black lens bracket. Assassin Career Second Transition Instructor. Open Black Lens Bracket Level. 30 Close Black Lens Bracket. Occupation. Aloof Thief. After the professional mentor slowly finished his drink, he gently put down the cup. Then he smiled elegantly and said, Adventurers who have come from afar. I feel the power surging in your body. Are you here to explore the secrets of a higher level? Lin Luo had never been here in his previous life but this was similar to the plot of his second turn as warrior at that time. He calmly replied, Yes, respected professional mentor. Please guide me in the direction of progress. Desmond nodded, and with a wave of his hand, the wooden door behind Lin Luo suddenly opened. The sound of howling wind and snow came in immediately, and the temperature in the room plummeted. Go, go to the forest next to the snowfield and kill thirty black snowmen and one little penguin king and then come back with snowman's horns and penguin king's beak that can prove their identities. Give me. Lin Luo nodded, resolutely turned around and rushed outside into the wind and snow. Fortunately, it was winter now, so he wore more clothes, otherwise his body would definitely freeze due to his weak constitution. After leaving the wooden house, it was snowing heavily outside, the sky was grey, and there was often a cold wind howling by. Not far ahead, you can vaguely see the dark forest through the wind and snow. In order to save energy, Lin Luo did not wear guardian light armor before. At this time, I can only put it on obediently, 
even though the outside of this light armor is made of iron. But the inner layer is made of some kind of animal skin, so it's relatively warm. He quickly walked outside against the cold wind and heavy snow, and complained in a low voice, Damn, it's too cold. Your movements will be affected when you fight. Is this the test of the assassin's second turn? But, Black the Emperor, should not be affected. After a few minutes of trekking, Lin Luo finally arrived outside the forest. There are tall pine trees everywhere here. Looking inside, the light is dim. There seemed to be a tall black shadow that was moving slowly. He calmed his breathing slightly, then concentrated on walking inside. Black Emperor has appeared beside him to prevent accidents. Soon, Lin Luo found a black snowman that was slowly moving forward. Seen from behind, black snowman is tall and strong, about one and a half people tall. Covered in dark soft fur. Open black lens bracket black snowman close black lens bracket. Level. 20. Attack power. 200. Defense. 200. Health value. 6000. Experience value. 2300. Skill. Snowman's fury. When attacked, it will roar, attracting all the surrounding black snowmen to come to help. Lin Luo was not afraid when he saw this skill. Instead, he was happy, not bad. It has the same ability to absorb monsters as the Taurus King. It's such a cold day, so I won't have to go look for you. Black Snowman seems to be a monster without a hatred attraction mechanism. Lin Luo stood not far behind him. He didn't react at all and still moved forward on his own. But when Black Emperor punched him on the head from behind, he finally let out an angry roar. Ho! Roar! Roar! After Black Snowman turned around, two long arms hanging to the ground came towards Black Emperor like a whirlwind. Unfortunately, Black Emperor was obviously faster. He dodged in a flash and punched him in the head again. Ho! Roar! Roar! Black Snowman roared continuously, shaking the snow on the surrounding trees and falling down. However, he was soon beaten until his head was covered with bruises, and he finally fell to the ground with a weak cry. Lin Luo walked over and picked up the mission prop, Snowman Horn. The sound of heavy running sounded in the forest around him. Many huge black shadows were running this way, but this was just what he wanted. Black Snowman did not move very fast, and soon one by one fell to death under the iron fist of Black Emperor. Just when Lin Luo was wondering where the little penguin king was, he suddenly heard a sharp cry and looked carefully at the group of black snowmen. I saw that one of the black snowmen actually had a sled on its head. Sitting on the sled is a little penguin wearing a mini golden crown. He was waving his small forelimbs angrily, as if scolding these black snowmen for not living up to expectations. What a cute little penguin. Black Emperor give him a punch. Lin Luo thought this little penguin king was quite cute, so he controlled Black Emperor to fly over and punch it onto the snow. However, this time, it was like poking a hornet's nest. The small black bean-like eyes of the surrounding black snowman suddenly turned red, and their attack speed suddenly increased several times. Open black lens bracket little penguin king close black lens bracket. Level. 20. Attack power. 5. Defense. 10. Health value. 2500. Experience value. 2500. Skill. Help when attacked. All surrounding black snowmen will fall into a state of rage, and their attack speed will increase by 400% for one minute. Black Emperor was now trapped in a tight siege and could only give up killing Little Penguin King and chose to retreat temporarily. After the black snowmen repelled the enemy, they immediately carefully carried the Little Penguin King back to the sled above them. The little penguin king angrily hit black snowman on the head with its short forelimbs, as if to blame them for their poor protection. It turns out that little penguin king doesn't do much damage. But if you don't clean up the black snowman around and attack him directly, ordinary players will definitely fall into death. Lin Luo understood immediately after seeing the attribute panel of little penguin king. However, the attack speed of these black snowmen is already slow, so increasing it four times is not a big deal, as long as they are not surrounded. To capture the thief, capture the king first. Kill the little penguin king first. After Black Emperor lured a large number of black snowmen away, he made a detour, rushed in front of little penguin king and punched him away again, and then punched him a few times without waiting for the black snowmen behind him to surround him. 
he was sent to see the king of hell. When the black snowmen saw that their king was dead, they immediately became furious again. Lin Luo watched from the side and burst out laughing, I just like to see you incompetent and furious, and there is nothing you can do about me. When Lin Luo took the mission props needed for the second round, he braved the wind and snow and returned to the wooden house again. When Desmond saw him coming back, a look of admiration suddenly appeared on his face, not bad. Adventurer, your strength has been recognized by me. After he finished admiring, his face turned serious, however, I can feel the huge potential hidden in your body. I'm afraid the ordinary assassin's second level job, rogue, windrunner, and apostle of darkness are not your limit. But this world is always fair. If you want to get stronger power, you must take greater risks. I wonder if you are willing to pursue your own path. Lin Luo knew that this was probably the hidden profession mentioned by the Lord of Prayer, so he said seriously, I do. Okay, people without courage will always be weak. Desmond stood up, stared at Lin Luo with a stern look and said, you heard what I am going to say clearly. In addition to the three regular second turn professions, there are countless hidden professions. Some of them are powerful and terrifying, but in some aspects, they are even worse than the regular second turn professions. These hidden information about the second job transfer are hidden in the void. Now that you are ready to pursue the limit, then I will guide your spirit into the void. What kind of job you can change into in the end is all up to you. It's your choice. After your spirit enters the void, you will sense infinite information, so be sure to remember it. Don't stay in the void for too long just because you are greedy for power, otherwise you may be lost in the void forever. Lin Luo was slightly confused when he heard this. Is it dangerous to get a powerful second level hidden profession? After Desmond finished speaking, he walked quickly to him and said seriously, are you ready to enter the void? Lin Luo swallowed and nodded. Teacher, I'm ready. Desmond immediately stopped saying anything and directly pressed his palm on his head. Suddenly, a mysterious force rushed into Lin Luo's mind, bringing his spirit directly into an unknown void. Void seems to be complete nothingness. It's here. The ears cannot hear. The nose cannot smell. Speechless. Unable to see. All five senses seemed to have been lost, and only countless thoughts were surging. Where is this? What should I do? Don't panic. I can't panic. I need to calm down. Calm down. Others were able to change jobs successfully in my previous life, and I, Lin Luo, can do the same. Time seems to have no meaning here. Lin Luo seems to feel that a moment has passed, and a long, long time has passed. However, he is getting calmer and calmer, and his spirit is becoming more and more concentrated. In the end, he finally hears a familiar voice. It's the voice of the second turn mentor, Desmond. Very good. You have adapted to the void. Next, you have to enter it completely. Remember, the more powerful the career, the better. The one that suits you best is the best. Don't get lost in the void. Before Lin Luo had time to answer, he suddenly regained his vision, and what he saw was an endless world, flowing rapidly in front of his eyes. Countless messy sounds also sounded in my ears at the same time. Sometimes there are countless men and women cheering, sometimes there are human cries before death, sometimes it seems like someone is praying to him devoutly. Lin Luo suddenly felt something in his heart, and his eyes tried to stop at a certain world. The scene in front of him immediately became fixed, and then the world quickly magnified in front of his eyes. This is a night in an unknown world. In a mountain and river, there are countless halls lined with lights, like an ancient sect. It seemed to be late at night. Except for groups of patrolling experts who were still patrolling around, the sect had become completely quiet. But soon, one of the patrolling experts fell down silently one by one from back to front. A dark figure flashed away in the shadows beyond the reach of the light. Soon, from the bottom of the mountain to the top, teams of sect guards died one after another. By the end, the entire sect was completely silent. Ah, assassin. After a brief period of calm, a long and sharp roar sounded from deep within the sect. Soon, the entire sect became noisy. Damn it, where are the guards? They were actually sneaked into the sect master's mansion. What use are you two? Is the sect master okay? How is the sect master? The sect leader is dead. Countless sect masters woke up from their dreams and gathered together in silence. He was afraid that he would be assassinated by that daring assassin. 
Lin Luo's perspective had switched again, and he saw a dark figure leaving quickly, and no one could catch him. It means killing one person in ten steps and leaving no trace in a thousand miles. When the matter is over, he brushes off his clothes and goes away, hiding his merit and fame. When the scene ended, a stream of information instantly poured into Lin Luo's consciousness. Open black lens bracket outlaws close black lens bracket. Hidden second career change. Upgrade power plus two. Upgrade physical fitness plus two. Upgrade agility plus six. Specialty. Lawlessness. When there are multiple enemies within 30 meters, the attack power increases by 10 points. After there are more than four enemies, each additional enemy increases the attack power by five points. Specialty. Interweaving of light and shadow. In the shadows, entering a state of hiding, the probability of being discovered by the enemy is greatly reduced. After leaving the shadow, the movement speed increases by 5% within 5 seconds, and the breath is stable, making it difficult to be discovered. Close black lens bracket. Skills. Please click for details. This profession has the same S-level talent, plunder. The degree of fit is 89%. Job transfer success rate, 98%. Failed to change job. Exit the void immediately and suffer mental weakness for five days. Close black lens bracket. Starting from the second turn, every player can obtain attribute bonuses brought by the profession itself every time he upgrades. However, the conventional second turn profession only adds five attribute points each time it is upgraded. This hidden profession, Outlaw Outlaw, adds ten points of various attributes each time it is upgraded. Ordinary second-level professions only have one specialty, while Outlaw has two. It's exactly what the Lord of Prayer said. For me, Outlaw Outlaw is the most suitable hidden profession for my plunder talent. Lin Luo recalled in his mind that the other profession, Prophet Mage, recommended by Lord of Prayer at the beginning, and wondered what kind of expertise Prophet Mage had. However, this belongs to Assassin's job transfer, void, so naturally it cannot sense the information corresponding to Prophet Mage. He was about to confirm his transfer to this profession when he suddenly felt a throbbing in his heart. The scene in front of me representing outlaw gangsters shrank instantly, and then several scenes quickly flashed past in front of me like a revolving lantern, and then stopped at a scene that looked like a church. Under the beautiful statue of Goddess of Light. A priest in white robes was praying respectfully. Great goddess, we serve you devoutly, and we are willing to dedicate everything we have to you. Please give us the power to defeat the minions of the dark god. As he chanted, many Illuminati cultists behind him knelt down one by one and lowered their heads. At this sacred moment, a cold and arrogant laughter sounded in the corner of the church. The gods have abandoned you a long time ago. Even if you all die here today, your goddess won't even look at you. The priest who took the lead in praying turned around slowly after hearing the words, revealing an old face, but there was not much panic on it, but it was full of a sly smile. Minions of the Lord of Darkness, do you think you will win? We have known your weakness for a long time. The spell, fire bomb. The Illuminati cultists quickly stood up and chanted spells at the same time. Balls of light rose up, illuminating the entire church without a shadow. And the owner of that voice finally revealed his true form. A tall and thin figure wearing a black cloak was standing in a corner. Originally, the place was full of shadows, but now there is no place to hide. Shadowless man, you have nowhere to hide now, right? The leading priest sneered and continued. Your power comes from the shadow, and now you are like a tiger without claws. Just surrender and capture him. The spell, Spear of Light. One after another, spears of light quickly shot at the silent cloaked man. But the cloaked man suddenly swung his cloak, turning it into a huge black circle, and threw it towards countless spears of light. Spear of light instantly penetrated the thin black cloak, but the next moment countless slender black shadows, like sharp arrows, quickly spread towards the priests and believers. Quick, 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 just as the spear of light penetrated the shadowless man. These slender black shadows also instantly pierced the shadows of these priests and believers. In an instant, countless blood holes appeared on the white robe of the priest, and his face turned gray. The believers in front of him fell into a pool of blood one by one. He watched the many slender shadows slowly fade away. He covered the bloody holes in his body and leaned hard on the bench next to him. With an expression of surviving a disaster on his face, 
he sighed softly, I didn't expect this dark lord god. His minions still had the strength to resist. Fortunately, he finally died. Dead, you really don't know anything about my abilities. As the tattered cloak fragments fell to the ground, the effect of the spell firebomb disappeared, and the shadows in the church appeared. From the shadow, a new man in a dark cloak slowly crawled out. Then the figure blurred for a while, and he killed the priest with a knife in an instant, and then casually shook off the blood stains on the short knife, leaving behind a lonely figure, slowly stepping on the many corpses and walking out of the church. Dot. As the scene ended again, a brand new information also poured into Lin Luo's consciousness instantly. Open black lens bracket shadowless man close black lens bracket. Hidden second career change. Upgrade power plus 3. Upgrade physical fitness plus 2. Upgrade agility plus 10. Specialty. Shadow clone. Hide the body in the shadow, consuming 10 mana points per second. And create a shadow clone in reality, with only half the health of the original body, zero defense power, and zero attack power. Specialty. Shadow stitching. Manipulate the shadow to attack at will, but the shadow's attack power is only one half of the main body, consuming 10 mana points per second. Specialty. Shadow Curse. When attacking the enemy's shadow, it will inflict half the damage to the opponent's body, and each attack consumes 20 mana points. Close Black Lens Bracket. Skills. Please click for details. This profession has the same S level talent, plunder. Level of fit 22%. Job transfer success rate, 9%. Failed to change job. Exit the void immediately and suffer mental weakness for 10 days. Close black lens bracket. Lin Luo was slightly surprised after reading the introduction of the hidden profession, Shadowless Man. This, Shadowless Man, is much stronger than, Outlaw. Not only does his growth attribute increase by 5 points, but he also has one more specialty. All three of his specialties are offensive, and they are also ridiculously strong. Why didn't the Lord of Prayer tell me this information? Is it because the degree of compatibility is too low? And with a 9% success rate, it takes several failures before the job transfer is successful. Damn it. This shadowless man is much stronger than the outlaw man. The job transfer instructor said not to get lost in the void in pursuit of too much power. Is this the case? No, I sense that besides shadowless man, there are even stronger hidden professions. The light and shadow in front of Lin Luo's eyes changed again, and another brand new scene appeared in front of him. As the scene zoomed in before Lin Luo's eyes, this time, hundreds of ancient cavalry troops surrounded a wooden house in a mighty manner. In front of the wooden house, a swordsman wearing a tight-fitting warrior robe was blowing a bamboo flute with his eyes closed in concentration. Hush, the leading general suddenly reined in his horse and stopped ten meters away from him. A deputy general was about to ride his horse to shout and scold him, but he stopped him with a wave of his hand. Wait a minute, let him finish blowing, and then send him on his way. After all, he is a swordsman of a generation. It's a pity that he has offended the royal family. Although the world is big, there is no place for him anymore. The swordsman finished playing the song and slowly took the bamboo shao into his arms. Seeing this scene, the general of the army said loudly, I once heard that a swordsman killed twelve red-browed bandit kings with one sword. Unfortunately, he has ended up like this. Why don't you bow your head to the eldest prince and admit your mistake? I believe that with the eldest prince's kindness, virtue will surely forgive you for your mistakes. After hearing this, the swordsman stood up slowly, smiled freely, then shook his head and said nothing more. He just silently pulled out the long knife from his waist. What a pity! The general sighed, and then waved his hand forward. Hundreds of thousands of cavalry behind him got the order and instantly crossed both sides of him, drowning the wooden house and the swordsman in an instant like a torrent of steel. The general turned his horse and prepared to leave. He said to the deputy general beside him, Let's go. No matter how strong you are against the imperial power, it's just one word. Death. It's just a pity for this person's ability. But the deputy general's eyes widened and he stared blankly ahead. The general felt a little strange and was about to speak when he suddenly heard a violent wind roaring behind him and turned around suddenly. I saw a storm raging among hundreds of iron cavalry. No matter how the cavalry charges, once they get close to the center of the storm, they will be instantly chopped away by countless sword energy. 
Even the horse under its crotch will be instantly torn into pieces, and blood and flesh will fall like rain for a while. After such a shocking scene, after four-tenths of the cavalry were killed, all the cavalry finally became frightened and began to collapse irreparably. The last thing the general saw was that in the center of the storm, an unparalleled swordsman was dancing leisurely with his sword. Countless sword spirits, like courtiers, surrendered at his feet and gently lifted him into the void. Open black lens bracket storm swordsman close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket legendary career close black lens bracket. Upgrade power plus 4. Upgrade physical fitness plus 2. Upgrade agility plus 1 4. Specialty. Sonic sword breath. Each attack is accompanied by agility multiplied by 1.7 attack power. Close black lens bracket. Specialty. Swift wind sword gang. Each attack will condense a blast of sword energy that lasts for 3 seconds. Each blast of sword energy will increase the attack speed and movement speed by 2%. When the Gale Sword Gang is stacked to more than 10 levels, it will gain short-term air control ability. Each condensed sword gang consumes 10 mana points. Close Black Lens Bracket. Specialty. Infinite Sword Chi. When wearing a sword weapon, the attack is accompanied by seamless sword energy, the attack distance is increased by 2 meters, the opponent's physical defense is ignored by 20%, and the critical hit rate is increased by 15%. After activation, it consumes 10 mana points per second. Close black lens bracket. Restrictions. Cannot wear armor. Skills. Please click for details. This profession has the same S level talent, plunder. Fit level 1%. Job transfer success rate. 0.5%. Failed to change job. Exit the void immediately and suffer mental weakness for 20 days. Close black lens bracket. Legendary profession. What is this? Isn't this too powerful? Melee professions generally require three levels of training to gain the ability to control the air, but now they can fly in the second level. That's outrageous. No one on the internet in my previous life ever said that there was a legendary career option. But the success rate of career change is too low, right? No, now that I've seen it, no matter how low the fit is, I have to give it a try, otherwise I would be too unwilling. Lin Luo began to think quickly about how to successfully change jobs. At this moment, he had a flash of inspiration and forcefully exited the void. Desmond saw Lin Luo opening his eyes again, but the aura on his body did not change. He couldn't help but wonder, why did you quit without transferring? You must know that traveling in void accepts transfers. Job information is very mentally and physically draining. As soon as Lin Luo exited the void, he immediately felt a kind of mental and physical exhaustion. However, he still managed to gather his energy and asked, Mentor, I want to know if the profession I am changing to is very incompatible with my talents, will I be able to gain all the power of this profession after successfully changing my profession? As long as the job transfer is successful. Desmond had a clear expression in his eyes. After answering the question, he immediately gave a serious warning, have you seen those powerful professions in the void? You must not try them. If you fail to change jobs, the feeling of weakness will be 10 times worse than what you feel now. After Lin Luo drank a bottle of advanced physical restoration potion from his backpack, he felt a little better, but his mental fatigue could not be relieved. After listening to his mentor's words, he suddenly asked, Teacher, do you mind if I summon a substitute here? I don't mind. Desmond was stunned for a moment, and then said, In your current state, if you enter the void again, you won't be able to stay for long. If you want to enter the void again, remember to make a decision immediately choose. Lin Luo nodded, and with the blessing of ten times the good luck of wish. Good luck, he summoned the Lord of Prayer, and then said loudly, I will definitely be able to successfully transfer to Storm Swordsman in one go. Closing square bracket exclamation mark quote. After the Lord of Prayer operated the Book of Wishes for a moment, he immediately said respectfully, Dear Master, your wish has been fulfilled. Lin Luo couldn't help but nodded secretly when he saw that the energy of Lord of Prayer suddenly dropped from 115 points to 3 points. Fortunately, the super crystal that can restore energy immediately was not used by Black Emperor, otherwise the energy may not be enough to track the location of others tomorrow. After he confirmed that his wish came true, he immediately said to Desmond Mentor, please send me into the void again. 
Desmond looked at him in confusion, his mouth opened unconsciously, as if he was surprised, there is such an operation. It wasn't until Lin Luo called him a few more times that he turned around and put his hand on his head again speechlessly. Lin Luo returned to the endless void again, and this time he also knew that he could not stay here for too long. Not only is the flow of time here different from that outside, it also consumes a lot of energy and energy. He quickly locked onto the scene of Storm Swordsman and then confirmed the job change. Suddenly, countless information about Storm Swordsman flooded into his mind like a wave. Death is like the wind, always with me. Only when you are infinitely close to death can you understand the true meaning of the storm. Watch the sword in your heart and listen to the wind. Honesty to the heart. Honesty to the sword. Honesty to the wind. The wind is also a sword, and the sword is also like the wind. The sword of the storm becomes more powerful the more it cuts. At first, Lin Luo could still try his best to absorb it, but as he stayed in the void for longer and longer, his spirit inevitably began to weaken, and Storm Swordsman's job change was not over yet. Desmond looked nervously at Lin Luo, who was sitting cross-legged on the wooden floor. Storm Swordsman is a legendary profession. He has never seen anyone successfully change his profession in his life. If the adventurer in front of him can really change his profession successfully, then he is also proud of it. At this time, Lin Luo, who was frowning slightly with his eyes closed, suddenly spurted out a mouthful of blood, and then couldn't maintain his sitting position and fell to the ground. Desmond's face changed, and his figure blurred for a moment, and he appeared directly next to Lin Luo, gently helped him up, and whispered anxiously, not good. This is a situation where the job transfer failed. He won't get lost in the void and won't be able to get out, right? This silly boy, I thought his substitute could really help him. Storm Swordsman is a legendary profession from the ancient East. It has completely lost its inheritance a long time ago. How can it be possible to successfully change professions with an S-level substitute? This guy is too young. I heard that only those who have awakened the strongest SSS-level talent in the world can successfully transfer to the legendary profession. Global Announcement Congratulations to Player Black Emperor for becoming the world's first second-level professional. Reward a lucky draw ticket for 10 consecutive rounds of the Wheel of Fortune. Close black lens bracket. With the global announcement ringing in everyone's ears six times in a row. Blue Star's soldier who was responsible for guarding the mysterious stone monument of Sakura Kingdom suddenly changed his expression. I saw a new message appear on the stone tablet again. Blue Star's first second turn professional appears. In reality, in 24 hours, a rat level disaster will occur. This piece of information was naturally known to the top leaders of the five powerful countries immediately. As a result, think tanks and senior officials from various countries immediately started heated discussions again. What exactly is a rat level disaster? Is it the same as a dungeon or a secret realm? I think judging from the name, I'm afraid it's different from the nature of the dungeon and the secret realm. Tell me what you think. Colonel Chu. Okay, Chief. Judging from the current situation, there is actually no danger in the dungeons and secret realms that appear all over the world as long as you don't go in. Moreover, each dungeon and secret realm is marked with a recommended level for entry, which is completely like training. We blue star people. It seems to be guiding us step by step on the road to becoming stronger. But the word disaster is closely related to reality. I have reason to suspect that this time it will affect reality. I'm afraid we need to take precautions in advance. You mean that the two words disaster and reality are connected, not accidentally or by some kind of coincidence, but deliberately? Just to remind us. Correct. Soon, several major powers in Blue Star have issued announcements. All people will stop all outdoor activities after 24 hours, rest at home and wait for notification. China even sent inspectors and volunteers to go door to door to publicize it. Brother Hong, thanks to you, otherwise we might all be injured by this nightmare copy. Brother Hong, you are so powerful. If we hadn't dragged you down, you might have been able to pass the level faster. Bai Hongli deliberately said seriously, we are all good brothers, why should we be a drag? I will be unhappy if you say that again. Ha ha, Brother Hong, I was wrong. Bai Hongli suddenly heard his cell phone ringing. After he glanced at the phone, his pupils shrank slightly. He quickly adjusted his expression, 
raised his head and smiled at a few people, it's getting late today, and everyone is tired. Let's continue to clear the dungeon tomorrow, right? Okay, Brother Hong, see you tomorrow morning. Ah, I really want to continue to clear the dungeon. Although it is a bit tiring and dangerous, the impact is so satisfying. I didn't expect that after clearing the nightmare level dungeon for the first time, I can also get the Fate Wheel single draw coupon. It looks good. I don't know what good things I can get. Brother Hong suggested that we gather 10 cards and then draw them. Just listen to Brother Hong. Bai Hongli waved goodbye to several people, then turned and walked into the alley next to them. Several people saw him leaving and continued talking. Although Brother Hong is from Sakura country, he has a really good temper and is generous to our subordinates. He is easier to get along with than expected. Yeah, I was worried when I first joined the company. But having said that, Brother Hong's substitute Kegaya is really powerful. It would be great if I also had a substitute like this. Alas. Strong ability. I think you are greedy for her body. I will tell Brother Hong tomorrow that you have fallen in love with his substitute. Oh. I didn't say that. Don't slander me. After Bai Hongli turned the corner and entered the alley, he looked around to make sure no one was there before he answered his phone. A serious old man's voice immediately came from the other end of the phone, Kudosawa, please meet up with the chosen ones recently and report your talents to Lord Musashi. Upon hearing this, Bai Hongli immediately said, yes, sir. Our Sakura Nation Restoration Organization used to be dormant, but now times have changed. Fortunately, God will not destroy our nation. There have been many chosen ones among us who have awakened S-level talents and above. Miyamoto-sama has even awakened the top SSS-level talents. You must work harder and keep up with me. Do you understand? Bai Hongli quickly said respectfully, Yes. Yes. Don't forget to summon the rest of the chosen ones tomorrow. I'll hang up first. After Bai Hongli put down the phone, he looked deeply at the flickering street lights in the distance. A tall and graceful figure wearing a kimono appeared quietly beside him. She held a metal umbrella in her hand to cover the two of them. Under the dim light, it was vaguely visible that there was an exquisite face under the umbrella. Ha ha, SSS level talent. I wonder if he is my Kegaya's opponent. Lin Luo woke up leisurely and saw a familiar wooden house. He struggled to sit up from the sofa. The wood in the fireplace was still burning and making a crackling sound. The room was warm and made people feel extremely comfortable. Desmond seemed to hear the sound, his ears twitched slightly, he woke up from his sleep, looked at him, and asked with concern, are you feeling better? Didn't I remind you not to be in the void? Stayed too long. Lin Luo scratched his head in embarrassment, hey. Desmond shook his head and sighed, young people are always so ambitious. I hope your failure in changing jobs this time can teach you a lesson. Generally speaking, for legendary professions, only those with SSS level talents can change jobs. Success, with an S level talent like yours, it's great to be able to switch to a hidden profession. Hearing this, Lin Luo glanced at the profession, Storm Swordsman, on his attribute panel and said awkwardly, Mentor. I successfully changed my profession. When I was young, I was just like you coveting powerful power in the void. Unfortunately, after I failed twice, I learned better. Desmond was halfway through the education when he suddenly realized, incredulously, he lost his voice and said, you successfully transferred to another profession. Lin Luo nodded with certainty. Desmond said speechlessly, outrageous. How did you do it? Can you tell me your talent? I will keep it a secret from you. Ha ha, that's the secret. Lin Luo exited the secret realm, Assassin's League, with a satisfied look on his face, but found that the sky was getting bright outside. He hurriedly took out his phone and took a look, only to realize that he had actually spent so long in the secret realm. At this time, it was already past 6 o'clock in the morning the next day. He opened the game interface and saw that all the game coins he had listed on it had been sold, and the balance totaled nearly 6 million Chinese coins. We won't have to worry about food and drink for a while. It's time to prepare to stock up on supplies. I remember that the first wave of global disasters in my previous life should have been seven days later. Lin Luo casually bought some breakfast on the side of the road, walked to a deserted corner, and summoned the Lord of Prayer while eating. At this time, the energy of Lord of Prayer has been restored to 17 points. 
he took out the memo on his phone, looked at the first name on the list, and asked, how much energy do I need to locate this person? The Lord of Wishes replied respectfully, Dear Master, the more powerful the target, the more energy it takes to wish to locate its location. I can't directly feel the power of the target you mentioned. I suggest you need to replenish my energy first, and then make a wish. Lin Luo didn't hesitate when he heard this, and gave him two A-level super crystals restoring the energy of Lord of Prayer from 17 points to 77 points, and then said directly to the substitute, Tell me the position of Bai Hongli. He must be a target with S-level talent or above. In order to prevent the accidental killing of people with the same name, he added a restriction behind this wish. The Lord of Prayer soon realized his wish, Great Master. Your wish has been fulfilled, and the location of the target you are looking for has appeared in your mind. This wish consumed a total of 40 points of energy from Lord of Prayer. Lin Luo carefully felt the location of the target in his mind, and soon looked towards the wall on the left. At this moment, his eyes seemed to have penetrated infinite space and saw the person he was looking for. He finished his breakfast in two mouthfuls and threw the plastic bag into the trash can nearby. Let's go. Let's hunt those who fall into the darkness. Bai Hongli's original name is Kudosawa. His family has been the secret guard of the Sakura Kingdom royal family for generations. When Sakura Kingdom Tokyo was destroyed a year ago, he happened to be escorting Princess Yoshiko of Sakura Kingdom to attend an event and luckily escaped death. After that, he followed the royal family survivors and joined the Sakura Country Business Group in China. Although the Sakura Kingdom has been completely destroyed, the remaining land has been occupied by the five powerful countries on the grounds of researching and protecting the safety of Blue Star. However, the surviving Sakura people around the world would naturally not give in, so a large number of Sakura people in China, under the organization of the royal family elders, secretly established the restoration organization Yakiwe. In the past, due to the peace of the times, the Baki society had always been tepid. Now that the whole nation is awakening, there are actually many chosen ones with S-level talents and above in the Baki club which has less than a few hundred thousand people. Even Musashi, the son of the big boss in the Yaki club, has awakened a rare SSS-level talent. This made the Baki club start to move again. When Bai Hongli thought that Princess Kako, whom he admired, would be betrothed to Musashi by the elders of the royal family, he felt uncomfortable in his heart. No one in the Yamakai knows about my talent yet. Maybe I can let Kegaya assassinate Musashi. Then as long as I can prove my worth, maybe I can let those royal family elders take over Princess Kako. Marry me. Lin Luo had followed the induction and arrived outside by Hongli's company. He looked up at the tall building with a thoughtful look in his eyes. It's still a peaceful time. You can't just rush in and kill people, right? I'm a good law-abiding citizen. He has also considered manipulating Black Emperor from a distance to defeat the opponent, but Black Emperor has a shortcoming, that is, its intelligence is too low and it is difficult to fight automatically, so he must see the opponent before he can take action. However, if he entered the company as a stranger at such a close distance, he would easily be suspected later. He didn't want to get into trouble with the inspectorate yet. Lin Luo thought for a while and decided to go nearby first, clear a few nightmare level dungeons, and get a few Fate Wheel single draw coupons. Anyway, this Bai Hongli hasn't come out yet. He recalled the location of the nearby novice dungeon, then took a taxi and rushed there. The place where this newbie copy appeared was in a high-end bathing center, swallowing up several rooms. The owner of the bathing center was originally very angry, but when he found out that many of the people who had logged into his place would wash their feet or get a massage because they were too tired. Moreover, many people from around gathered in his store, which greatly increased his popularity in business. After that, the owner of this store also specially provided a place for players who came to brush copies to rest and form teams, and let the technicians in the store cosplay into well-known female characters in the game. When Lin Luo walked into the store, the two welcoming ladies wearing attractive cuz clothes at the door bowed in unison. Welcome adventurers from afar. This made him feel that he really knew how to play. But Lin Luo didn't stop, he quickly found the entrance to the dungeon and rushed in directly. Open black lens bracket slime cave close black lens bracket. Recommended entry level. Level 1 to 4. Optional difficulty of the copy. Easy, normal, hard, nightmare. 
Lin Luo checked the nightmare difficulty level of this dungeon and found that there was no clear record yet, so he decided to enter with confidence. At this time, he succeeded in his second transformation, and his attribute panel had a completely new look. Open black lens bracket Lin Luo close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket level. 22 close black lens bracket. Experience value. 212,900104,857,600. P.S. In order to prevent Gang Jing from saying that the upgrade experience requirement is high, we would like to explain that although the upgrade experience is doubled each time, the monster experience of each level is also multiplied by a certain coefficient. It is originally more difficult to upgrade later. After the third turn at level 40, the experience required for upgrading will be reset to the same as my previous book, so there is no need to worry about numerical inflation. Occupation. Storm Swordsman Legendary. Open Black Lens Bracket HP. 1460 Close Black Lens Bracket, Up Pointing Arrow 80. Mana Value. 200. Attack Power. 156 plus 60, Up Pointing Arrow 18. Open Black Lens Bracket Strength. 22 close black lens bracket, up pointing arrow 9. Open black lens bracket physique. 13 close black lens bracket, up pointing arrow 4. Agility. 130 plus 38, up pointing arrow 43. Attack speed. 13.4 times per second, up pointing arrow. Moving speed. 117.6 meters per second, up pointing arrow. Other attributes. Please click for details. Equipment. Guardian Short Blade, Gold Level, Excellent. One Turn Skills. Shadow Hunting LV1, Phantom Slash LV1, Swift LV33, High Speed Reaction LV1, Strong Attack LV1, King's Command, 30%, Frenzy Dance, 30%, Earth Shattered, 30%. Second Turn Specialties. Feet. Sonic Sword Breath, Feet. Swift Wind Sword Gang, Feet. Infinite Sword Chi. Second Transfer Skills. Sword Chi Shield LV1. When the Gale Sword Gang is stacked to more than 10 levels, it will be automatically activated. Each Gale Sword Gang can withstand 50 points of damage. Close Black Lens Bracket. Sword Chi River Level 1. When the Gale Sword Gang is stacked to more than 20 levels, it can be shot out to attack the enemy. Each shot will cause 80 plus strength times 3 physical damage to the enemy. Close Black Lens Bracket. Wan Jian Chaozong Level 1. When the Gale Sword Gang is superimposed to more than 50 levels, 3 Gale Sword Gang will be automatically generated every second, and the sword energy that was shot out can be summoned back without damage. Close Black Lens Bracket. Storm Swordsman, in addition to 3 specialties, this second level profession also has 3 active skills. They are very compatible with each other, and they are almost integrated with offense and defense, which is qualitatively different from other second level assassin type professions. Even as the level increases, it is completely possible to kill all enemies head-on as seen in the void. As the saying goes, fake assassins, sneaking around to carry out assassinations. A real assassin kills with force from the front. Generally speaking, second-level assassin-type professions mainly focus on sneak attacks and surprise attacks, and are not good at frontal combat. Even the hidden professions, such as Outlaw Outlaw and Shadowless Man, are definitely not the type to challenge others head-on. However, Storm Swordsman, as a legendary profession, does not need sneak attacks at all. It can completely defeat other second-level professions head-on. It can even single-handedly fight a group of people, just like a single person fights a group of iron cavalry in Void. It is indeed a legendary profession. Let me see how strong it is. The only limitation of this profession is that it cannot wear armor. Lin Luo simply took off all his defensive equipment, then suddenly pulled out the Guardian Short Blade and rushed towards the level 6 Wind Slime. Wind Slime. His current attack speed has completely exploded, he can attack 13 times per second, and he has almost accumulated 20 layers of Flying Wind Sword Gang in less than 2 seconds. These Blast Sword Gang were like blue swimming fish, surrounding him, lifting him up, and they could also turn into River of Sword Chi to instantly strangle monsters. Minus 278. Minus 259. Minus 268. The wind bullets sprayed out by wind slime were easily blocked by the sword chi shield and then were directly killed by the sword chi river like swimming fish. After these wind slimes died, it was as if a balloon had been popped. A large amount of air flow spurted out from its body, 
blowing its body around in the air like a balloon. After Lin Luo killed these monsters instantly, he did not stay surrounded by many Feng Feng Zhongong and flew directly to the next scene. Each layer of Flying Wind Sword Gang can increase his movement speed by 2%. A total of 20 Flying Wind Sword Gang surround him, increasing his movement speed by up to 40%. Lin Luo's current movement has reached an astonishing 160 meters per second, even surpassing the movement speed of his stand in Black Emperor. If he didn't have enough mana, he could even stack more Wind Sword Gang to make him faster. Grass Slime Fire Slime, Thunder Slime, Water Slime, Rock Slime, and Grass Slime all fell under Lin Luo's sword. The last level 10 guard boss, Golden Slime, was instantly submerged by the River of Sword Chi as soon as it appeared. You have cleared Slime Cave, Nightmare Level. Open Black Lens Bracket Battle Damage. Zero Close Black Lens Bracket. Time required to clear customs. 45 seconds. Single player clears the dungeon, obtains triple score bonus. Exceeding the recommended level of dungeon by level 12, score dropped 6 times. The score of this clearance copy. 50 points, C level. Congratulations on getting the Black Iron Grade, Rare Treasure Chest from the Slime Cave. Close Black Lens Bracket. This time, Lin Luo experienced the feeling of single-player abuse. It was great, but it consumed too much mana, and maintaining Blast Sword Gang also required a lot of physical strength. As expected, he still let Black Emperor do it for him. It was more comfortable. Although the treasure chest obtained by clearing the level this time was of junk quality, the extra single draw coupon of the Wheel of Destiny obtained was his goal. As long as he swiped five more, he would be able to collect ten consecutive draws. Lin Luo opened the treasure box and flipped through it. Most of them were junk equipment and props that were useless. There was a black iron level grass slime leather jacket that was pretty good. Although the attributes were a little worse, it could be worn directly without any impact. His expertise is used. And as he put the harvest into his backpack, he suddenly found that there was an extra 10 wheel of fortune coupon in the backpack. He was suddenly surprised and said, Holy crap, when did you get this? Wait, let me see the information reminder on the game interface. Lin Luo scrolled all the way up, reading the information reminders in the game's virtual interface, and finally discovered the source of this 10 draw picture. Global Announcement Congratulations to the player Black Emperor for becoming the world's first second-level professional. You will be rewarded with a lucky draw ticket for 10 consecutive rounds of the Wheel of Destiny. This unexpected joy made Lin Luo feel particularly excited, but he did not plan to draw the lottery immediately. After all, the Lord of Prayer has very little energy left. He still has energy to hunt by Hongli later. It's better to just be in case something unexpected happens. After he figured it out, he chose to exit the copy. See you next time. The two beauties at the door of the footbath shop bowed deeply again when they saw Lin Luo leaving, revealing their beautiful body curves. This made Lin Luo a little embarrassed, thinking about coming over to take care of their business when he had time. Definitely next time. Lin Luo ran around all morning, completing four nightmare level novice dungeons. Wild Wolf Canyon, Chocho Camp, Fire One-Eyed Beast Abyss, and Zombie Mushroom Cave. Single draw coupons on the Wheel of Destiny finally collected nine tickets, leaving only the last one. Let's eat first. People are iron, and rice is steel. Lin Luo was about to take a break to eat, but found that Bai Hongli's position finally started to move in his sensing. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.